Hey Vikes, today we have some Christmas music and a recap on the semester. I'm Jordan. And I'm Cameron. You're watching SVTV. Break starting tomorrow, we went around asking for your favorite Christmas songs. Let's check it out. Hey Vikes, we went around to ask you some of your favorite Christmas songs. Let's go check it out. What is your favorite Christmas song and can you sing a little bit for us? Um, it's definitely got to be Silver Bells and You Betcha. So it starts off like this. It's like, um, Silver Bells, Silver Bells. I don't want a lot for Christmas. There is just one thing I need. It's the most beautiful time of the year. Lights fill the streets, spreading so much cheer. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas, just like the ones I used to know. Had a very shiny nose, and if you ever saw it, you would even say it glows like a light bulb jingle bells jingle bells jingle all the way oh what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh hey, hey i don't care about the presents underneath the christmas tree rudolph Playing. joining any reindeer games like i don't know which one was it oh, okay Hop it's christmas time in the city to hear sleigh bells in the snow. The snow. <laughs> You'll go down in history like Ben Franklin. On George Let's do Washington. That yeah, there we go. <laughs> ring a ling, hear them ring. Soon it will be Christmas Day. Well, Vikes, you guys had some pretty great answers this year. That's all we have for today. Good luck with the rest of your finals. Louise! Quick, sing your favorite Christmas song. All I want for Christmas is Sophie to leave me alone. <laughs> Those were great. Now on to the announcements. One of our students, Jay Sean Gill, was on the Today Show this morning. He was in a music video for The Greatest Showman with the Queer Eye Guys. We will have the link in the video in the description and a follow-up story after the winter break. Don't forget that the speed limit in the parking lot is 10 miles per hour. Second Chance Breakfast for the ninth graders starts on January 7th. Tomorrow is the last day to submit a banner design for the Fine Arts Booster Club. On Friday morning, the Viking Brew will be selling vanilla la lattes at half price in honor of Parker's last day on staff. Make sure to stop by. Now, let's go to Cameron to check out what's going on in sports after this commercial break. I'm representing the fine arts of Seaman High. The entry deadline is December 21st. The banner design must be vertical. The dimensions are 33 by 80. The design must represent the fine arts at Seaman High. Submit your designs to Mr. Schmidt or send it to fineartssjs at gmail.com. The winner will be announced on January 28th. Congratulations, Sam Payne, for being selected to play in the 2019 Kansas Shrine Bowl. Basketball is tomorrow at Topeka West. The theme is unannounced. Now, over to weather with Joshua Pauline Duncan. Good afternoon to you. This is the last weather report of 2018. Now, a lot of you have been wondering why it's been so mild as of late, and that's because 
astronomical winter doesn't technically start until tomorrow. We had a very abnormal November with eight inches of snow. However, so far this month, just a tenth of an inch. We'll have to see if that changes before the end of the month. Now, back to today's weather. We are looking at wind chills pretty low for today with those gusty north winds in the 30s through this evening. But tomorrow morning, one of the coldest mornings in quite some time, 22 degrees for a wind chill tomorrow morning. So bundle up on your way to school tomorrow. And then our attention turns to the weekend looking fairly nice to start off your winter break with highs in the 40s mostly sunny skies on friday a few more clouds on saturday with a very small chance of a sprinkle or flurry saturday night it shouldn't be much sunday we clear back out again as high pressure moves in and if you're traveling across the nation it's looking pretty wet overall this is the outlook from december 25th through the 29th showing above average precipitation across much of the country and that does correspond to the weather we'll be dealing with here but it does not affect christmas eve or christmas day so here we go your christmas eve forecast 31 is our low cold weather for santa as he flies around and then christmas day itself on tuesday a high of 45 degrees with mostly cloudy skies there will be increasing chances of precipitation starting after sunset on Tuesday. And now for your SVTV seven day forecast, you can see the highs in the 40s continue throughout the next seven days. And our next system to note comes in again Tuesday night and into Wednesday. As of right now, it appears we'll be on the warm side of the system with predominantly rain. However, if we see any shift in the track of the system, that could bring wintry weather to northeast Kansas. Of course, what that means for you, follow us on our social media outlets throughout the two week break. Enjoy your 10 snow days, Vikes. Now, Jordan and Cameron, back to you. That's all we have for today, Vikes. We're leaving you with a holiday special. Good luck on the rest of your finals and have a great Christmas break. Hey, Vikes. Welcome to the Christmas special. It's that time of year again, and as our gift to you, we thought it'd be fun to do a recap of everything that's happened this year. This year, we thought it'd be important to tell you where the best burger's at. And if you don't remember, here's a recap. As well as some new things, we thought it was important to keep some classics, including Guess the Song. Girl Like Oh you. yeah, yeah, by Macron 5. How are you, Irvin? Urban. Five seconds of summer. Another highlight from this year was getting to sit down with governor candidates, including Secretary of State Chris Kobach and Senator Laura Kelly. Ethan Guzman kept us informed in the latest in pop music, while Cody Kaiser kept us updated on the newest in gaming entertainment. Super Smash Brothers is the ultimate fighting crossover game, including many different franchises. This year, we learned more about our faculty and our students. Earlier in the year, some of the students showed off their hidden talents. <laughs> as well as some pet peeves. Okay, so my number one pet peeve are people that don't put the carts back at the grocery store. People chew their gum like really loud. Like it like literally drives me crazy. Like I just want to strangle them. This year, SVTV added a permanent member to its daily news. The extraordinary Josh Duncan. I don't know about you, but I would say that the homecoming candidates this year were pretty great. But almost just as great were the jokes they said. Here's a few of our favorites. Bite in the toilet paper across the road. Bye. Got stuck in a crack. What is the longest word in the dictionary? Smiles, because there's a mile between the S's. <laughs> Another funny moment from this year was getting to see our favorite teachers show off their best dance moves. <laughs> this year, we also finally found out that Seaman High School isn't haunted. Or is it?
It was uh, six or seven years ago. I was facing away from the corner where that phone is, and I heard a distant, hey. Almost no one was here. We were all here, closed up one night. Everything was off, and we seen a woman. Nobody was here. We were all outside here, and we, you, you know the wooden doors downstairs? They were shut, and we heard them open and slam. There was nobody here. Hey, Vikes. That wraps it up for the Christmas special. This is my last semester with SVTV. The next semester, they'll be bringing you great contents. Before we let you go, though, me and the crew have a special message for you. Happy Holidays!